here we are again. Somehow we ended up back in Vegas, one of my least favorite places to be in. And I obviously don't mean Vegas as a whole. I just mean where all the tourists go and where my friends want to go when we visit the Strip. It literally consists of so many different things that make me unhappy. Just people being drunk and tomfoolery all over the place, gambling, smoking, just extroversion in general. Although I don't really drink, it's good to know that there's a skate park here that people go to if they have a rough night. And it's one of the best skate parks I've ever seen in person. One reason this skate park is pretty unique is because there's about four or five different sections that are similar to each other, but just different in sizes. So it's really easy, I think, to go from being a beginner to moving on up, practicing your skills and giving you different levels to go through as you proceed. Most of these sections consist of rails slash hublets that get a little bit steeper, a little bit longer as you move around. You even have this big A-frame area that is pretty beastly, and I think skating the rail itself would be pretty scary. The middle section with just the flat ledges and the little curb looks super fun to me. A good, good spot to try to actually learn new tricks. And then you have the big section, which actually isn't that big, but a good stair set and hubbers. You also have this ledge to bank right here, and there's definitely creative ways to skate the park. Very small transition, definitely more street skater oriented, but Vegas. Here I am, so hyped to get a little vacation. The whole goal today is to try to learn some new tricks, just to skate for hours and hours and enjoy this beautiful weather, this beautiful skate park, and have a good time. That's what we're doing now, here, right? Okay, here we go. I mean, this might be the most fun skate park I've ever skated in my life, genuinely. Every single trick you saw was on a different obstacle. So all those ledges that looked very similar that I was going down are different ledges. That's how many cool obstacles there are at this park, which I know ironically a lot of people don't like out there. You don't like parks that just have random ledges kind of scattered everywhere and you want different types of obstacles. And I agree, I like that stuff, but I can't deny the fact that I just like this more because this is what I grew up skating, just ledges and flat rails. The few times I've been to Vegas in the past, recently I don't really drink at all, but I have done the whole Vegas thing. And the next day I have felt terrible and I'll go to the skate parks and I'll basically be wanting to throw up the entire day. It's kind of a nightmare. It's funny because that whole thing soils the atmosphere of what Vegas is. And I know there's clearly potential. You see a skate park like this, you know there's gotta be a sick skate scene here. But I finally hit that old man status in my life where I just wanna chill in New York City. I don't even feel like leaving because the city's already so fun. There's so much to explore that I don't even like traveling anymore. Genuinely being at the airport stuck on the tarmac for three and a half hours before even taking off, that stuff's a nightmare for me, but I, I'm here now and skateboarding is the only thing that's on my mind and I'm going to try to learn some tricks here and get some stuff for Instagram. So cut to me dying trying Instagram tricks. I'm not feeling good on my skateboard. It feels hard to pop my board and I think this shoe board combination, they kind of feel like clown shoes. That's what they feel like on my feet. I'm gonna skate some more, see if I can figure some other stuff out. 
But uh, this is kind of a struggle today. But you know, we got it. <laughs> Vegas definitely has a different vibe so far. I will say you always find really good skateboarders in areas like this. Places where it's typically warm or dry, like Texas especially, Florida, here, California, and Arizona, you find probably the best skateboarders I think in the country, people who can skate all year long. I forgot to mention that the skate park itself was about 12,000 square feet, which is huge, and it also cost $1.3 million to build, which is a lot in a place like Arizona in the middle of nowhere park it's that's a lot also i just have to mention the weirdest coincidence that just happened i walked into this vegan restaurant and it looked awesome and as i'm sitting there somebody walks up to me and says john and i recognized him and i had an idea on who it was but he looked a little different but then it hit me and i was like jamie Jamie is a guy that I skated with one day. I did these two tricks in California and he used to work with Rip and Dip. And the more shocking part is that he's actually the one who designed the original cat that Rip and Dip uses on everything. And then they had this huge con conflict, confliction, a fight that led to Jamie leaving the company altogether. And that restaurant is actually owned by his dad and he lives in Vegas now, but he was from New York and then lived in California while I was there. Crazy coincidence, just ran into him and on this trip might be skating with him in the next couple of days. I actually kept skating in the park and got a lot more tricks that I want you guys to see in just a second. I am going to enjoy Las Vegas while I'm here, even though it is one of my least favorite places, the Strip. It's warm, it's nice, New York is freaking freezing and snowing, so it's good to take a little break, but I should not be filming in here actually. I'm fun. Bro, I'm having so much fun. You see me editing on this. We're partying like it's 1903. 13-inch computer. I have a video every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel and then every week on my podcast if you want to get extra content from me or just put me in your ears and listen to me and my brother talk about anime. That's just what we do. And I'll see you next time. Here comes the skateboarding. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it. Whoa.